Welcome back to Storage Hustle. I'm going to be honest, it's growing on me. It's one. It's becoming one of my more favourite games. And the reason why is just because I'm obsessed with buying and selling stuff. I sort of wish I could do it myself. And maybe next year when the weather's nicer and the sun's out, it is something I'm looking into just as a side hobby because cash in hand at the moment is precious and we don't need to get rid of cash. But apparently the world is going that way. Especially if you pay attention to what's happened in the European Union. I am Hybrid Steel and today I'm going to go to an auction, buy lots of places or lots of lockers and um, try and flog it for a bit of money. So it's all good. We're going to start over here. I don't care what the time is. I'll just wait. Actually, well, there's a couple here that we can already bid on because they're well cheap. <laughs> it's all good. Right, let's go. Right, we're going to bid on this one because it's only $47. Is it worth my time and effort? <sighs> uh, um, yeah, maybe not. The worst part is, is once you open a door, it's like, oh, I wonder what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? I wonder what could be in the box. I'm not spending more than 100 on this. I don't want, no, don't, don't bid on it. Don't bid. You bid, I punch. Do not bid on this. Smeg off, Karen. Or men, is it meninist? You're like a feminist, but the, oh, I don't know. Don't bid. Don't bid. Oh, you bint. Muscle mummy can go and do one. $82. This is almost at my... I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy this for that much money. I just don't want to touch it. It's horrible. Yes, less than 100. Ah, registered fraud, apparently. Uh, 192, 248. We'll take the 192, see what we can do. Oh, my God. There's a teddy bear. That, the rocking horse, if that's in good nick, is okay. Uh, I think the urn's worth it. There's a little urn in the background. I think we sold one of those for 300 before, so... Maybe 400 is my limit for this one as well. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Marvin, shut up. Kim, go away. You're not wanted here. It's mine. This one is mine. It's full of crap and I've got money. It's all good. It's mine. This is probably going to be the worst one, isn't it? I'm going to spend all this money on like the worst locker possible. <laughs> yeah, pass out, Kim. We'll take the fire extinguisher. I've never sold a fire extinguisher, so that will be new to the market. It's all good. Get rid of that. That's an ore or a bore. Uh -huh. It's aura, bora. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> right, okay. $298.88. We'll take the 88 quid first. I want to try and buy. Uh, you know what? It's probably worth it. <laughs> it's $88. If I spend like 200 bucks on this, we're good. I'm only going up by $5 in agreements. $5 up. 150 would be preferred right about now. Shove off, Barack. Oh, you can tell he was born in the 90s. His name's Neo. Guess what he was named after. <laughs> oh, oh. Last bid. 153. This is where I wanted this locker, like, price-wise. It's probably not worth 150 quid. Smeg off! $183. I'm spending way too much money on this crap. No more. Thank you. Now go away. I'm the new big willy in this place. Yeah. My locker. Yeah. Now let's go and spend 600 quid on this. <laughs> right. There's a gun. There is a gun in this locker. And I don't have to call the police because it's America. It's all good. <laughs> 20 bucks up. <laughs> I'm going to be fighting for this one. I've got this feeling that the gun is probably the only thing that's going to be worth any money. And it's probably going to be worth about 450 quid. So try and keep this a bit lower now. 388 is like the new increment. It's all good. Current bid, let's go. No, no, no more. No, there's nothing to see here. Don't buy it. I hate you. It's all good, man. Is that me? Like, it's my. It's almost like my catchphrase. It's all good. Yes, we want a gun. Suck it, noobs. You ain't got as much cash as I have. And now, now everyone's probably got more money than I have now. Right, so we've emptied two lockers. We're now working on... Let's work on... We've got that one on the end. So let's get in the truck, reverse a little bit, and then we're, we're in trouble because we've got to put all this stuff in here. There is a gun. It's a, le it's a deagle, man. <sighs> we want a deagle. And I should be able to value that one because it's a green item. So it's not like it's not gonna be worth the most, but it'll be worth something. And as long as it's worth 1600 quid, I'll be alright, because then that will basically take all of the money I've spent today and we can go but oh it's a wooden train in it, but it's broken. Right, what's in the box that always rocks? Uh, let's pull it out. No, no, no. Out. There we go. Oh, I got diddled. It's an empty cardboard box. Boom. Right, one flashlight. Four dollars and fifty pence. Rubbish. Chopping board. Yeah, we like chopping boards. Nothing. Nothing says strong like a chopping board. I got a. Sh I got a foam finger, and I'm not allowed a product. Oh no! Don't fall out. Oh. Stay. 
Yeah, that'll do. That that looks rickety. An old leather chair. Fantastic. If that's worth the cash, we're all good. A old table chair. Excellent. Now I can start my own antique shop. Because everyone sells chairs in antique shops. So that's a chair. Again. It's very, 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 very precarious, this. Well, that got dark quickly. Hey, it's an old tape player. Fantastic. And another football. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy I bought this box. Oh, a phone. Oh, it's a 3310. We should just attach it to a stick and just sell it as a hammer. They, the rumours are true. Those phones are neon indestructible. The reason why they made cases for them was to protect the floor. Right, Teddy can go on top of the truck. I'm hoping that... Um, yep. <laughs> oh, no, I, dro I dropped a chair. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all going Pete Tong. Right, apparently... That's good enough. That teddy bear wants to fall off. No! And it did. Shame I can't put it inside. See, we need cardboard boxes for storage. Stay. Oh, yeah, I think we've done it. it. Well, it's in there. No! Flipping it. This is going to take some time to get home. Stay. Oh, it's staying. That's good. I like something else fell out now. Choo choo. Shove it in. It's fine. As long as it's inside the mess we should be completely fine now i've got no fears everything is sort of locked into place we should we're defying physics right now okay it's all good this is that this is how we do it in this business you know the worst part is i'm gonna have to undo i'm gonna have to take all this out and put it on shelves and then price it all up so i think at that point what i'll do is i'll do that and then you guys can just sit back for five minutes and just uh know that you didn't have to watch what i'm just about it's all funny games right i'm gonna sort all this stuff out with the miracle i i learned this technique off of scrap and pallet man basically i click my fingers and point at the truck and it's empty and there we go see one empty truck and all of this stuff has been laid out all nicely all i had to do was snap my fingers just like the scrap and pallet man shout out to him if you do like scrapping and bits of pieces and red trucks and people talk and him talking about lots of scrap go check him out i like him and personally i, I watch his content quite a lot because it just relaxes not a christian boy i'm not a christian person he does his little prayer at the end that's for him and the rest of the world you know for me it's more about just chilling out with a guy who's just an honest worker all right cool now i'm gonna go to bed because i need to plug all this stuff in the morning and the fact that we spent 1500 quid on a load of old crap there you go i, sp I spent i spent this much money in one day because it carries on from yesterday where i um yeah where i spent a lot you know in my previous video where i spent lots of money yeah okay cool now i need to sell all of this and make my money back now i'm gonna go with the t i'm gonna go with the 20 dollar rule if it's 15 dollars put it up to, to it like you know 25 well it's like a 10 dollar oh no i need to fix everything first right <laughs> repair right i can repair quite a lot of items now since we upgraded our thingy we'll be all right so now let's go through this i should be able to get everything up to normal say normal i'm looking for normal normal gets me more money still got a still got to price that up i think the last gas mask i sold for like 300 and i can't remember what it was so. dumbbell a lot of banging today he's good oh gramophone right or oh. i swear i bought two of them but apparently i only got one so i feel one of them may have fallen out and i didn't see it happen because it was dark and yeah it was just a shame that's good perfect excellent so they're okay so here we got like an old table chair and an old table chair. One's normal, one's perfect. Tire, that's okay. Chainsaw, chainsaw. I think we're good. Right, now I can start valuing because we should be able to do a price scanner on quite a lot of this stuff. Right, you're, you're scanned, you're scanned. I can do blue items as well now. Oh yeah. Yeah. 50, 60 bucks for the blue stuff. 40, okay, that's not bad. So I, I was selling them at about the right price then because I was selling the books for like 50 bucks a time and they were selling and now that that one's $39, it makes a lot more sense. I could probably get a bit more out of them now, now, now I know how much they're worth. <laughs> 20 bucks for the cup. So that one's, hold on, that one's worth 20. That one's worth 25. Oh, it's because one's perfect. Oh, the D, I can't do a Deagle. Oh, that sucks. Do I want to keep hold of that? Or I, there, There's a way of trying to figure out how you do, how, you, how expensive things are. So what you do, that's a legendary item. So I'll probably sell this one last. It's probably going to be like, I'll put it up for like two grand to start. If it sells for two grand, well, if it doesn't sell within like 30 seconds, then you put it down by like, so like 16. I'm probably, it's probably only about four figures. I think uh, I sold the AK-47 for four. Ooh, these chainsaws are good, Nick. Like them. 
Black a lot. 22 chairs of 70. Wow, okay, that's not bad. So we sold, we, we spent 1600. Now let me just get through most of this stuff. Right, the toy train, it's $6.50. I'm gonna sell it for 15. The old teddy bear. 32 it's gonna go for 50 car tire everyone needs a car tire did i not scan i didn't scan the tire in venice i do keep forgetting it's there because it's sitting on top of a tool chair 30 dollars yeah that's down to me. no not for not for zero can't 32 bucks we want this going for 45 okay do you want the teddy bear for 32 sold for 50 toy train no one's gonna buy that i'll sell it for a tenner it's all good all right hydraulic jack perfect condition 50 bucks uh, you can have the tire for 45 dollars chainsaw 125 140 3,000 in perfect condition. Right, so the Billy the Fish, obviously it's not gonna sell for 500, 500, so let's do it for 400, okay? And we'll, we'll, we'll get through this. Right, so no one's buying the fish for, let's do 350 on Billy the Fish. Someone wants the gun for three grand. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna put it up to four grand. <laughs> this is like the one, this is 4,000, put it up for sale. If I can, I need to find that sweet spot where they don't want it, and then I can bring it down for max profit. Okay, so Billy the Fish is going for three fifty. Fantastic. The gramophone. So, as this is only an epic iPhone, if I put this up for four hundred, it's in normal condition. If no one buys it, we bring it down to four hundred. It's the same with this. The rarity of this is that this is like we'll do this for four fifty as well, and we'll see where they go. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, then we lower it down by another fifty dollars. So that's not, oh, oh, some, someone wants what? Okay, $400 for the gramophone. That's a good one. Ta-da. We're at 2,281, and I've still got these two items here. So the gas mask, I'm going to do for 400. Oh, not 4,000, 400. The Desert Eagle, I'm going to do for 3,500. And then if someone buys it, then I know it's three and a half grand. Or maybe it might be 3,600. But I think three, three and a half grand is a good amount of money for this. <clears throat> okay, so this is 350. The reason why is because of the condition. So that's fine. Uh, this I'm going to do for 3,250. Customer for the gas mask, $350. Oh, yeah. I think we may have hit that limit. I think three grand was a good price for this. So yeah, it's in perfect nick, so three thousand dollars, put it up for sale, Bob's your uncle. And it's always good to find out the best price for things. It's very, when it comes to rare items like this, definitely you know keep just use your price as well. And there we go. Three grand. Oh, I can offer you two thousand two hundred. No, I don't want two thousand two hundred. I want three thousand dollars for it. We shall see. Yeah, yes. New offer, 2,550. You know what? I'll shake your hand, son. You got yourself a deal. There you go, 5,180 quid. We're doing all right. That means we're sorted. Profit, $4,993. My family sent my, my money for my birthday. Oh, thanks, guys. Most appreciated. $10. Don't forget, if you want to send me some money, actual like real money, there's a little like super chat button or super like thanks button. You can do that if you want. So there's one. It's over by Thor's Storage as well. So, I mean, we could, well, there's two. Thor's Storage is a good place to go, actually. We could head there, see if we can blow five grand on something. Because I need to make more money to upgrade my equipment. So, technically, yes, I do need to do this. We'll check out the uh, the garage sale first. It's just over the road. The guy is selling a gun. We like guns. They sell well. What gun you got? AK-47 for 640 quid. Eh, not bad. Can I can I evaluate this tool? He's selling that for the price, so that's 30 bucks. I could get 40 for it. A golden desert eagle for 2,080. Remember how much we sold the last one for? But this one's in bad condition. Cheeky. Very cheeky. That's broken, man. I know I could repair it. That's a good price. We like that. You know what? Sold to the stupid man with the hat. That's me, by the way. Yeah. 
I'm buying this for 180 quid. Thank you very much. Most appreciated. And the reason why is because it's worth so much more than you're selling it for. Ta-da. Right. That's one. This guy's selling a sword. How much is your sword? Oh, well. Okay, it's, it's up for a grand. I can't... Oh, I can't find it out, can I? Ten bucks, ten bucks. Okay, cool. I See, I wouldn't mind taking a punt on this, but it's 160 quid now, but I have to repair it. But yeah, the wheelbarrow's worth the money. <laughs> Weird, really? Right, there was one more, isn't there? Oh, there's two. Actually, you know what? Full circuit, we'll go around. I'm not going to go to the auction now. I'm going to go and look at good people's stuff on their driveways. Whoa! I've never seen this place. Oh my god, this is the big time, guys. We need to come here. Wow, I cannot wait until I'm up to this level. And then we can splash all of our money on absolutely nothing. Beep, beep. Right, so there's an auction. Not an auction. There's a garage sale around here somewhere. I think it was on the end. There it is! Yes, mate. We'll just pull over here. That's fine. I'm seeing a golden desert eagle as well. <laughs> wow. It's people. How much are you selling yours for? 3,390 quid. The other guy was like two grand, but I, wouldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah. 3,000. I can't touch that. Cowboy hat. $88. We can sell it for 100. So that's not bad. We can make 10. We can make 12 bucks on it. This is broken. Yeah, it's very broken. VHS player. Yeah, he wants top dollar for that. Nine fifty for the sword. The other one was a grand. So taking that into consideration, the other guy's selling his one for nine uh, for a thousand. So if I, no no cancel. Right, if I buy this for nine fifty, I'm at least gonna make fifty bucks. If I put it up for twelve hundred, we can we we can do that. That's cool. Yeah, we'll take it. Cheers, mate. It's only because I saw the other one for a grand. I'm like, yeah, I can I can make money off this one. It's all fair in Love and War. Apparently in this one, it's all fair in this game. Storage Wars! 80 bucks for the battery. I actually don't know how much these are worth. Now, the reason why I don't know how much these are worth, because the last one I bought was for 50, because I sold the other one for 80, because the other, there was one on the table for 70. How much? $65. So, yeah, that's top price. 120 That's 130 on its own. And that's normal. So we're only making 10 on that. Well, we can make 20. We can set it for 140. How much is a wheelbarrow? Yeah, all right. I'll take it because it's, yeah, it's worth more. Your wheelbarrow is 120. I can get 150 out of it. Uh, so I can set it for 170. Cheese. Yeah, I'll take it. Cheers, matey. Might Mate, appreciate it. Oh, yeah. There we go. We've got two wheelbarrows and I'm not afraid to use them. I can store stuff in. Right, cool. So this one here is 120. It's worth 130. We can sell it for 150. We'll take it. See, I'm, I'm doing good. Wheelie dealing. Hold out your hand, son. I got to try and get this in my car. Right, where's the last one? There's one more market. Oh, it's down the road. Excellent. It's on my road. So I haven't got a lot of room, but you know, I shouldn't pick up too much. I'm only a little bit of a hoarder. I'm not a full-time hoarder. Getting there, though. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Brilliant. We're here at the last. At the last one. What hidden treasures shall be upon this place? Four fifty for a gun. I don't think I can. I can't. Yeah, I think we sold them for five hundred, but that was like a risky. That I already know. That I already know. So as it's ninety-one dollars, we can get it for. We can sell it for. This, so I, these are really weird. I, I, you know what? I'm going to take a punt on this. This is 390 quid. I'm going to try selling it for 450, because I think it will be worth 450. Hey mate, I want to buy this monitor. I wouldn't buy it for myself because I've tried one of these before. Not as big as this, but it 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 fit on my desk. But I couldn't, I couldn't get on with it. I really couldn't. I needed to play games and have stuff on at the same time. Didn't work for me. Right, where do I live? If you do it properly, that is. Right. Ah, giant monitor of doom. Right, giant monitor of doom. You go there. Wheelbarrow. You go there. Wheelbarrow. You go there. Big shiny sword. Yeah. You go there. Did I get anything else? I did the amp. Well, it's corner speaker. This is not. A, this is a monitor. 
like you, when you go to a gig and the lead singer standing up top and he's got his foot on something that's what he has his foot on it's a monitor speaker it's a rare item though. I mean well in this game it's a rare item they're quite common if you go to a music shop right my shop uh, one big giant ass monitor 450 doll hairs put it up for sale uh, 170 for the wheelbarrow 170 for this wheelbarrow the katana we bought it for uh, 950 so if i'm gonna sell it i'm gonna sell it for 1200 so we make a little bit of cash on it the corner speaker 130 we're gonna do it for 150. so there we go curve monitor uh yep cool 450 for the monitor 170 for that one 170 for that one the katana we're doing for 1200 and the speaker we did for 150. 5661 skiddles we're done and that's it yes i want to sleep done there we go i spent 1600 and i made 2140 quid and that's a good successful day's worth of bartering and bits messing around so guys thank you very much for coming by this has been hybrid steel if you have enjoyed this video hit the like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates because i actually i need to upgrade stuff first i could do this yeah cool we've upgraded Cha ciao and now i need to make five thousand five hundred dollars in the next video that will be done so until my next one peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do if you haven't already hit the like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates and if you do really want to help this channel out hit the, hit the subscribe button the most but you can become a member becoming a member you pay this channel a couple of dollars a month it's like two bucks for a month that's you know that that, that helps two bucks a month it helps we get games funds what i do if things are about to break then i can replace until then bye bye for now